Q&A time, yeah. I'm gonna keep that in there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to grab this so we can see ourselves. Okay. Welcome back to Crazy Treasures. You know what time it is? Q&A, Q&A. Sorry, I'm feeling a little weird. Um, <laughs> She's just a little happy today. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Melinda posted on Instagram and Facebook to ask us questions kind of just about our living situation and what's going on, what's the, what's the 411, what's all the info. <laughs> um, so we're just going to be answering those questions. Um, do you want me to read them off? Yeah. And we answer? Okay. <clears throat> Some of these questions are more like deep and juicy and then others are like fun. So this is a fun one. We're starting off with a fun one. Do we want more tattoos? So Melinda and I both have tattoos. Mm -hmm. She has, you have a lot, right? I have four. I have four, I only have one. I'm a little baby. I, <laughs> I barely just got my first one and I definitely want more. I'm not sure what, but I really like tattoos and I feel like they add character. So I will be getting more. Are you gonna get more? Most likely. I want to get a half sleeve. Oh. And possibly, not anytime soon, but maybe like a spine tattoo. Oh, that would be cool. So. I definitely want to get one for Bex, um, my daughter, but I'm not sure where or what. Next question is, would we adopt kids in the future? Um, as of right now, I don't have any answer. Yeah, I think maybe like when I'm like way older, like <laughs> and married. Um, I think I would do. Um, Kind of something similar to what my mom did and your mom, because your mom took you in when you were a teenager. I I think that I would do something similar to that, um, because teens don't really get adopted. That's you know true. What I mean? So it's very hard. Yeah, it is harder for them to get adopted. So I think that's something that I would do, but in the very way distant future, like very way distant. <laughs> okay. So the next question is, do do our daughters share a room? And the answer is no. no. <laughs> um, um, and your reasoning is just because she's like, Bexley's younger. Yeah, she's a year and a half and Scarlet's, Scarlet's five. five. Um, we have talked about them eventually sharing a room. I think that's something that we'll definitely do in the future, but Bex is just a little baby girl right now. Um, she doesn't sleep in her own bed, you know, so we will not be doing that right now, but probably in the future when she gets older. If that's something Scarlett wants to do. She doesn't right. want to share her room, and she doesn't have to share a room. She can stay with me forever. What is our favorite thing to do together? So, so far since we've been living together, I think we like our, what would, what would you say, like quality time yeah. together. Yeah. Quiet last, time, last time. Last night we stayed up till, what, four, 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. almost 4, just like yeah, talking, just talking and having Yeah, like, and it was so fun. Great conversations. <laughs> great conversations. Just talking about oh, life and she, she is such a night owl and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you have me up to I like know. Three. Melinda's like, I'm gonna go to bed and I'm like, no, stay up! Stay up with me! I can't! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't sleep, so <laughs> I'm sorry. But I think it's because of you. Bexley, like she yeah. still gets up in the middle of the night, so yeah. she's at that stage. Yeah, where I just don't sleep ever. Even if I don't have her, I don't sleep, so. Oops, sorry. The next question is, what is something on our bucket list? I wanna go skydiving really bad. My best friend went skydiving and she said it was so fun. She's okay. Yeah, she is over there, actually. Our back of our camera. Our, our, <laughs> yeah, she's just observing. Um, and I wanna go so bad, I wanna jump out of an airplane and just fly. You know what's crazy? That's something that would be on my bucket list. Really? Yeah. Yeah? You wanna mm -hmm. go together? Let's go together. We're, Let's we're gonna go skydiving together. She, you can come too, Autumn. <laughs> <laughs> was, oh, this question's for me. Um, was moving back home ever an option? Like in with my, moving back in with my parents. And um, real quick, I felt like a lot of people asked that question. Yeah, it was like no, number one question. Yeah, no, literally. And honestly, I got this question a lot, like when I first like announced that I was moving back in with Melinda. Um, and I don't know why I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I didn't even think about moving back in with my parents. Um, I think that my mindset is like once you move out, like, you know, like you're pretty much on your own. Um, 
And my parents do help me um, in other ways, but like emotionally and like support, <laughs> you know what I mean? It kind of um, makes you feel more like independent. Yeah, yeah, like I, once I moved out, I knew that like I want to be independent and I want to like be on my own. Um, obviously with the state of rent right now, <laughs> it's not very possible to be by myself. So um, expensive. It is so expensive. So, so when Melinda called and was like, you want to move in with me? I was like, yes, <laughs> I do. And here we are now. Um, but it wasn't like, I don't know. It just, it just wasn't, it, I, I'm sure it would be an option, but it's just not one that I consider. <laughs> okay, this is also another question that was asked, and it says, do y'all cook dinner for each other sometimes? And our, our answer right now is no. no. <laughs> I feel like our schedules are just so crazy right now. Yeah. We just don't have time to, not want to say time, but we don't just. I also only eat food from Trader Joe's. Literally. Like frozen food from Trader Joe's. I was like, Joe's. Ooh, like, I've been to Trader Joe's a couple mm -hmm. times my whole life. Yeah. And then she's like, Trader Joe's everything. I'm like, this is actually kind of great. Yeah, she's like, can I have some tacos? And I'm like, yeah, go for free. it. And I'm um, like, go for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Trader Joe's. I, I also just don't cook a lot. Um, I'm more of a baker. Melinda cooks. I've seen her Snapchat stories of like, nice uh, looking <laughs> food, good pastas. But it's um, like, at the same time, when you live, when it was just me and Scarlett, it's like, I don't want to make this whole meal yeah, and then have a bunch one. of leftovers. Yeah, yeah. but now there's now. four people, so you should cook. I'll make Not something. Me. It's a date. Okay. <laughs> um, favorite part of living together? I think just like how chill we both are. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's not, I don't know, there's like no drama yet. Um, and we're both just chill, like we're both like, feel pretty down to earth, so it's just like chill vibes all around, all the time. I agree. Yeah. Pretty easy. Okay, so this next question is, what is the age gap between us two? So you're 28, and she's 21, and I'm 21, so seven years, which is crazy because growing up, like you were obviously like a teenager. Mm -hmm. And I would go, I would spend the night at Crystal's house, her mom, and I would spend the night with Hallie. And Hallie's like uh, two years younger than me, but we were like little besties. And you would be like up with your friends in the kitchen baking cookies. Okay. So the story is, <laughs> my first like memory of Melinda, like I obviously knew she was a part of like the family, but I like, I don't know, I was always like with the younger kids because I was a younger kid. Um, but there was another foster kid staying with um, Crystal and she was Melinda's age and she was kind of mean to me and Hallie <laughs> and um, her and one of Melinda's friends and Melinda were up making cookies and I was spending the night at Hallie's house and I asked this um, this you know other girl other girl and I was like hey like can we have some cookies and and she was just like yelled at me. <laughs> she was like, like no. no. And <laughs> I was like, okay. So I go upstairs and I tell Hallie, like, they're not gonna get those cookies. And then um, like probably 30 minutes later, Melinda comes up and she like gives us cookies. And I was like, you are so nice. You're my new favorite. She's um, like, what did you say? I knew in the future, like in the future she's that like we were one. gonna, yeah. She's a good one. She's a good egg. <laughs> she's a good Something one. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Look at where we're at now. I know. <laughs> okay. Do we have a similar parenting style? I don't know. I don't. I think that Bexley's pretty young, and so mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out my parenting style. It's definitely more towards gentle parenting, um, just because I feel like it's harder to say because of the age. Yeah, difference. because of the age difference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's been a couple of years since I've had like a baby, baby. Yeah. In my home, or helping with another baby. Yeah. But um, we do, I would say, discipline them in the right way. Like, no, don't do that. Like, yeah. we're on that part. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, discipline's the same. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like parent at all. I don't know how to explain it. Like, obviously, I say no and I try to explain, like, yeah. that that's dangerous or, like, oh, you can't do that, like, whatever. But I don't know. I feel like they are pretty similar. I, you have to cater to age, though, mm -hmm. so it it looks different, but 
it's probably the same. Probably. Were all the family's reactions when we told them we were, oh, what were all the family's reactions when we told them we were going to be roommates? They were actually really excited. Yeah, they were us. excited and supportive. My mom was like, Melinda's the most genuine, kind person I know. I would live with her. That's what my mom said, actually. She was like, I would live with Melinda. And so I was like, okay, well, then I will. Yeah, they were all really excited for us and really happy, which says something, you know, that yeah. it was going to work out. I know my mom was like, are you excited? I was like, yeah. And <clears throat> at the time, I was just having like a hard I was having a bad day, yeah. and I'm like, no, I am really excited. I'm just sad yeah. <laughs> at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, and I think like when we had that party, I talked to your mom, and she was like, are you excited? Oh, um, she couldn't be there. Yeah, Re Revlin's first birthday party, Nicole's son. Um, I was like, Melinda, I'm gonna go to a party, and then I ended up staying with, like, I ended up hanging out with my biological cousin, and Melinda went to the party thinking I was gonna be there, and I wasn't. <laughs> And then she talked to my mom about, about us, yeah. yeah. And and then my mom told me about it, and she was like, Melinda was so excited. She was, like, <laughs> she was so excited to have you live with her. <laughs> it was really cute. What do you guys think you have the most in common? Pickles. <laughs> pickles? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that we both like pickles? pickles? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just... That's a good question. I just feel it's more into just like how chill we are. Yeah. And we laugh and we have dark sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we and do. it's just like, oh my gosh, like where have you been all Yeah, we vibe. <laughs> we vibe good. Okay. <clears throat> if you guys could choose where to go on vacation together, kid free, where would we both go? Vegas! Vegas. I would go to Vegas with Melinda so fast. Like, she's so much fun, and in Vegas, the vibe, and then both of us, it would be so fun. We should plan it too. We should go to Vegas, and we should vlog it. <laughs> okay. Is it hard being a single mom? I would no. say no. It's obviously different, mm -hmm. um, but and it has its challenges, but I wouldn't say it's hard. No. It's just being a mom and having... I feel like it shows you a lot of things, yeah. your strengths, and yeah. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and you, have your, you have your support. Yeah. Okay. This next question is asking: Has it been? Has there been any difficulties living together? And no. Yes, Melinda is. I was like, so, what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was my face. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah. I was like, what? What? She Why said she didn't tell me. Like, Difficulties and honestly, I don't see any difficulties happening. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm just gonna both chill. See, that's not. I'm like every it's question is we're both chill. Yeah. So, yeah, it has been almost a month. We are doing good. Um, do we plan on moving and getting a bigger place? Yes. So, yeah. Melinda and I talked about it. We're living together forever until we get married. Well, not <laughs> to each other. Sorry. Until we find our significant <laughs> other. Yeah, we're just gonna live together. We're just gonna live together, and our kids are just gonna grow. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna grow yeah. together and be basically be like little sister cousins, and it'll be so fun. That's cute. Sister yeah. Cousins. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, I kind of already answered this one. This this next question ties into the last one. How long will we live together and forever, forever? <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> um, I just think until, you know, we both, until the time, until right. the time is right, I definitely see us living together for over a year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Like what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry. And I feel like if something were to change, we can communicate. Yeah. And it's like, hey, we're going to go out our separate ways and whatever. Yeah, and it'd be fine. But for right now, she's stuck with me. And you're stuck with me. <laughs> that's that's how I want it to be. Um, but that I'm pretty sure is the last question. Was it really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I add two more because they were oh. super long, and then it feel like writing them down. But you guys have really good questions, and you guys have been so sweet, and we just love the support. Yeah, we do. Love. <clears throat> Your screen. <screenshots>. My screen. <clears throat> okay, I found them. <laughs> So 
So this question is asking, what is one thing you two have learned about each other as roommates that you didn't know before? Um, you go first, because like, I don't, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking too. <laughs> I would say like, it's not crazy, but like dislikes and likes yeah. and like food, just like little things like yeah. that. Yeah, I'd say more about your, you know, your story. Your story. Yeah, like how you grew up and things oh, like that. Yeah, yes. yeah I, the I little gaps. stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay, next, last question. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> cut. Were you close before you moved in together? Since living together, do you feel you got to know each other deeper? You both are beautiful and watch the whole crazy family. So thank you. Um, so, um, I don't think, like, I mean, obviously we're like family, but I don't think we were super close. We weren't super close. Yeah. But I think we've said before in the past, like, I know that if I ever needed her for anything, I can just call her and yeah. she would be, like, on her way. Which is very true. Like, I remember, like, like you would be, Melinda used to work right where I used to live, like, in my, when my first apartment, and she would call me and she'd be like, can you watch Scarlett today? And I'd be like, yeah. And she would just drop Scarlett off. Like, even, like, in the morning, like, if she called me, I would answer, you know? Um, and I definitely feel like, it's only been a month, but I feel like we are a lot closer. Um, and I cannot wait to get to, like, know, like, the deeper, deeper things. Brits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the totally dark. You can't say that. <laughs> that's, that's bad. You guys, I just said a... A dark humor joke. Yeah, and it was not. It was funny, but no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yeah, that's Melinda. She's very, <laughs> she's very dark humor. She's, she's what did I actually like about us, our relationship? I'm so loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm loud. I just, like, <laughs> I'm loud too. I be yelling. Is I don't really have a filter. Yeah, no. and she doesn't. And I don't either. So we just say things and we look and at each other right and die laughing. Okay. Yeah. I like you. Mm -hmm. You're my favorite mm -hmm. cousin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, that is all the questions we have for today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.